Hello. In this video, I will tell you about the game theory and saddle point. How to find a game theory solution utilizing the saddle point structure. For that, you need to have a level give a matrix. What is the saddle point? Saddle means it related to a horse. So the horseback where you actually the rider sits, that is called a saddle, it's a stable position. So now in a game theory, how to find the saddle point? So let me start with a game like three minus one, four, two. Minus 1, minus 3, minus 7, 0. Four minus six, two minus nine, four minus six, two minus nine. So this is your entire matrix. So how many rows you can see? Three rows, four columns. It's a three into four matrix. So there must be a saddle point. Okay. So for saddle point, the matrix need not to be a square matrix. So this is called saddle point is called row minima column maximum method. Row minima plus this column. What is row minimum? So in each row we have to find the minimum value. So here are three rows, so these are the row minimas. And here column maximum. So in each column what is the maximum? That is 4, minus 1, 4 and 2. In each row what is the minimum? That is minus 1, minus 7 and minus 9. So now Row minima and column maxima, where are they matching? At this point, at minus 1, minus 1. So they lead you to here. So the point where row minima and column maxima are matching, this point is called our saddle or stability point. So saddle point, what is the position? That is row comma column, what is this is row 1, column 2. So at 1 comma 2, you have the saddle point and value of the game is you don't have to do anything, this itself becomes the value of the game that is minus 1. So this is all about the saddle point equation. 